YouTube, it's your boy C Staves coming to you with another updated build video. This is for the Lost Death patch. It just dropped on Xbox. I will be coming out and updating all my builds this week. Like I said, as you can see, it got stronger. I know like a lot of people have been worried about this patch, so I figured I'd go over it. But we got more physical and spell resistance. Man, our penetration is off the hook. Like we didn't use process, so it's not bothering our build at all. So Let's go ahead on. Like I said, we still a orc. Nothing much has changed for the max stamina, and we want the max health, and we want the movement, cost, speed, and the weapon damage. It's really, really good on a stam sort. So that's what I use on mine. You could use other imperial, but like I said, as far as stats, we have all of it into stamina. We are using a serpent mundus with arterium takeaway broth as our spoof or uh, food. This is a little expensive. You don't have to use this. You can use dubious. It works perfectly fine. But this is gonna give you the best bang for your buck. Okay, let's get in there and get into the consumables. Like I said, you could use um, Dubious if you wanted to. We are using um, tripods on this build. If you don't want to use tripods, you can use the weapon damage stamina ones that you buy from um, Cyrodiil. They work perfectly fine. Like I said, I hope everybody's excited as me for this patch. But like I said, as always, we'll start and we'll go into the skills first because a lot of things change. So we're still using Ramsack. It gives you the major breach and it gives you the minor protection. This is just spammable and it, it costs really, really cheap. It's really good, like 8,000. Like I said, you spam this up, it's physical damage, there's no dot, so it's raw damage, which is nice. Shield Assault, this is our, our CC, our um, gap closer of choice. Like I said, when we knock them over, we get a damage shield, which is great for sustain. Crystal Weapon, this had a, a patch to it. So now, the second hit on this does 3,115 damage versus the 7,788 on both. Which is cool. It also reduces the cost of your next ultimate. Still a great ability to use. Resolving Vigor. Oh my god. This got a new buff where it, it gives you minor resolve. Like, it's crazy. And you know you get that. But it gives you minor resolve. Increasing your physical and spirit resistance by 2,974. So let's just buff up so I can show you the new stats. Like, I didn't think they was going to buff us. But, whew. So we had a 35.86 on the um, physical and spell resistance, which is nice. Dark Deal got a, um, a buff also. So now this is over 10 seconds, and you get the additional 10. Yeah, it's bigger. Better heal. Great, great, great. Like I said, I'm, I'm loving the skill like always. We're still using Spell Wall. This is to get those snipers and stuff off of you, so you want to make sure you have this on. Just the, like I said, ultimate of choice. Back bar, keep them off of you. I mean, front bar, but... On this bar, you have Haunting Curse. Like I said, this is your dot. The one dot you are using on this build. It blows up. It does a lot of damage. It, the timing on it hasn't been changed, so it's still only 12 seconds, which is nice. It blows up twice. Next, we have Hurricane. Like I said, this gives your major your um, ugh, your major um, resolve, giving you you know more physical and spell resistance. We're using Refilling Flare to reduce damage by 10% by just having this slotted. Also, by having this slotted, you do get the um the support passives and the reduced i mean um increased regen we're using rally like i said we are using rally so this procs are back bar set also let me show you that um which is the veda strand perfect fit basically like i said while that momentum is active it's it's really really good just a great dot to have on them but you're using momentum anyway so it's great to have this you do have a spot on your back bar if you don't have this you could use the master bow or something like that instead um, executioner that's our execute of choice on this build um, like I said it feel free to change up any skills or anything that you like make it your own build Dawnbreaker smiting like I said incredible incredible dot knocks them down on the ground does physical damage like the CC just great this is this is the best ultimate like I said grind it really really simple to get not too hard um, let's go inside and go into all of our skills like I said we do have all of our orc passes um, support like I said blinding flare it gives you the passage in here which like I said gives you more regen and just great just for having it slotted um, assault like I said you want to have resolving figure you want to have your passes in here next we shoot up you want to make sure you always get your undaunted passive that's going to give you more um, extra HP max stamina and max health help you get to that them numbers in the build uh, fighters guild heavy armor you want all your passes on there medium armor same no light armor passives. Um, we have one-handed shield. Like I said, this is all the skills on there. Two-hander. Like I said, feel free to pause the video at any time if you need to go over the skills. But we do have all of our passives, so make it a little easier for you guys. Like I said, man, I'm, I'm really, really geeked about this new patch and seeing how it is. It's going to be great to play, and oh, I just can't wait. 
but going over sets we're using spriggans like i said this is a high high tanky meta build like this i mean this is a high tanky meta so you want as much penetration as you can get just to get through those shields and you know like i said we do have infused we have sharpened on the front infused with a stamina glyph you could put this um in sturdy if you like like I said, the Vader Strand perfected great story. We have this precise. You could put this defending if you wanted to or power, but it's just while momentum is active, casting the stamina ability while in combat generates a stack of frenzy momentum for 20 seconds. Increase your weapon to spell damage by 29 up to 10 times. So that's 290 weapon to spell damage. After five or more stacks, your next heavy attack assumes all your stacks, releasing a violent explosion under nah, 4,000 damage. Crazy. Mythic of our choice on this build is the Gate of Sith. This we're using this because it gives you 3,276 max health, 1,025 health recovery, and 4,000 armor. Just a one one item tank set, man. It's off the hook. You can't block while using this, but when you're doing damage, you're not really worried about blocking. Um, we are using this with the, uh, I mean, um, Pariah with the uh, Prismatic Glyph on it and M-Pen. You could make this re reinforced if you like to, but M-Pen is fine because you're really, really close to cap anyway. So, Magma Incarnate, one place, one piece for the Magicka and the Stamina Recovery. Best one piece in the game, in my opinion, as far as Monster Helms. But you could change that out if you don't want to use this and use something else. Pirate Skeleton to give you more armor. Then we're using Spriggans. We're using Well-Fitted. And then we have another well-fitted piece on the hands also, Spriggans. Max Stamina Glyph, big pieces we are putting Prismatics on, so Spriggans, also medium. We're using um, just medium and heavy on this build. So Pariah, once again, the lower you get on health, the more physical and spell resistance you get. And with all the patches and everything, still my favorite tank set, um, infused on the jury. We have a reduced stamina cost. On one of them, weapon damage, and, uh, and we should have a regen on one. So that's going over the sets for you guys. Like I said, um, I know they just silent patched that. Um, it was a new that Mara's blessing. So staying away from that set for now until the, I see what um, like I said, <laughs> they want to do with it. So right now, not much has changed. Like I said, if you haven't seen the builds, check out my builds. I have a ton of them. I have more coming out this week. I'm going over pretty much every single class. All different type of non-meta builds and like i said if you do like it check it out like i said and then, hey if you like it hit that sub button you might like the content it's free doesn't cost anything but just showing you the updated stats on the build real quick but let's go on to champion points next so you guys can see that um we did change out one champion point on this one it is the reduced dot but like i said if any time you need to pause it watch it just pause it like i said pretty simple champion points this does work for no cp and this does work for battlegrounds i use it in battlegrounds all the time and i'm gonna show you what we changed out uh, we ended up taking out the reduced damage of overtime effects so we took that off from here and we want to move that over and put it in duelist rebuff basically just take that damage down so just one little simple change to the champion points for this patch like i said besides that not much has changed as always, like I said, if you do if you do like the video, hit me with a like, comment, subscribe. I do reply to all comments. Like I said, let's help build a positive community. That's all we about here. But like I said, at any moment you need to pause it, pause it, rewind. I will put um timestamps in the video as always. And like I said, hey, it's your boy. More bills to come. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Peace.